Why do joints crack? The popping sound that you often hear is called cavitation and it, it happens when the gas bubbles are released from the fluid in the joint as the joint is stretched. It can happen naturally, for example when your knees crack as you squat down. It can also happen during treatment of the spine as part of chiropractic or physio treatment, so-called manipulation or adjustment as chiropractors call it. Creaking joints are common as we grow older, but that's different to joint cracking or popping and it's called crepitus. It's caused by two surfaces moving over each other uh, and the rougher the surface is, the louder the grinding uh, typically is. So it's often a sign of fairly normal wear and tear in a joint and it's not something to worry about, but it's not the same as, as joint popping and clicking. The human skeleton is made up of bones, joints and cartilage. The joints are where two or more bones meet and obviously they're designed to allow us to bend and move uh, properly. The joints themselves are made up of two parts. There's the joint capsule, which is the tough layer that surrounds the joint. And then there's the synovial membrane, the, which, which lines the inside of the joint, uh, of the joint capsule. And that's the, um, uh, the part of the body, the part of the joint that produces the lubricating fluid that helps reduce the friction between the two surfaces in contact with each other. Here's what a, a joint crack actually looks like. This bit of research was done in Canada uh, by a, a, an excellent team and you'll notice the formation of the gas bubble as it appears as a black space in the joint itself. The synovial membrane also produces cartilage for the joint um, and that protects it from wear and tear. Cartilage is a type of elastic tissue that cushions and protects bones from rubbing against each other when we move. However, as we get older, our joints tend to be a bit noisier because the cartilage wears down and can become pitted and cracked. Daily activities will naturally have an effect on how often your joints crack, but everyone will experience this at some point in their life. Now, we often get asked, will cracking knuckles cause arthritis? You might have been told that cracking your knuckles causes arthritis, but there's actually no scientific study that proves the relationship between these two things. However, although a study of 300 knuckle crackers conducted uh, by the US Anatomy and Physiology Instructors Cooperative uh, found no direct connection between joint cracking and arthritis, those who habitually did crack their knuckles showed soft tissue damage and loss of grip strength. Although it's difficult to know whether the two were uh, just an association or whether the, uh, it, was, it was causal. So if you're a knuckle cracker, you might think about getting out of the habit. It's often a reaction to stress and happens outside of conscious awareness very often. So how do you shake off a harmful habit? An effective way is to substitute a harmless but similar action every time you catch yourself doing it. Most of all, alleviate the stress which triggers it. Guided, deep relaxation, mindfulness. Uh, you could try one of ours. It's on our, our YouTube channel. You can search for it. Mindfulness sort of meditation will help bring down your stress levels and help you to reset old habits. Some people find that cracking their, their neck uh, is also uh, a bit of a habit and that can, can provide temporary relief, but it's, it's, not a, it's not good for the long term. It will actually cause more problems in the long term. So if you want to seek advice for painful or swollen joints, um, occasionally a cracking sound means you should get professional attention, especially if you notice swelling and pain in the affected joint. If there's no pain, the noise is simply the sound of the gas bubble popping. But if the cracking is accompanied by the swelling or the pain, make an appointment to see one of our chiropractors or indeed your GP. In some cases, people like to crack their back and neck but there's a right way to do this and a wrong way. If you crack these too forcefully or too often, it can lead to a painful pinch of the nerves. And in these areas, that can cause a problem. In some cases, the pain can be immobilizing. In order to prevent any long-term damage, come and see us here at Sundial. A chiropractor or physiotherapist can help stabilize the joint, which in turn will stop you feeling like you need to do the cracking yourself. So don't forget, book in for your next appointment with us if you're here in Brighton. We're always happy to see you.